Lord's Prayer is that we pray. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. You know, the understanding of when Christ comes again, and all those events occur, the understanding of that is that what God's going to do is, is establish his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, the new Eden. We're going to walk and talk here on this earth with God, as God intended it would be from the very beginning. You know, it took me a long time to understand that, but a, but a very well-known New Testament theologian, you know, whose judgment, whose understanding, whose intellect I trust, you know, gave me that insight that, that, I, that I had never had before. So once again, God's going to restore Eden to this world, and we will walk and talk with God in the garden in the cool of the day. Well, how do we respond to life uh, when, when, uh, when the rug gets pulled out from under us? Number one, here's one thing, and I won't dwell on this long for long, but but people who call themselves realists like this. When something horrible happens, when, when life kind of takes our breath away, we just have to say, it is what it is. Right? That's the reality. Don't you wish you could change? We can't change reality in this world. We wish we could, but we have to, as some would say, we have to accept things for, for what it is. There's a second thing. We have to confess some things. Again, this is our honesty before God. We have to say things like, I don't understand it. Okay? And that's okay. I don't like it. But from this moment and from this day on, I'm going to move forward in faith. It's like the old country song. Uh, One day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all that I'm asking of you. Now, <clears throat> to this friend that I told you about at the beginning of the sermon, Allison, I, I used with her, I said, Allison, you know, really what you have to do in, in your situation is just to take the next faithful step in faith. Because, you, and go with the light that, that God gives you. Now, we, we accept things as they are. We confess our, you know, our, our doubts and our questions, but there's something else. Uh, there's this thing that we call putting our trust in God. I love the Psalms. Uh, the people who, who see my stuff on Facebook know that I favor the Psalms. I love the Psalms. I love this one. <clears throat> where it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean to your own understanding. Do you, do you hear that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He will direct your path. Now, that, that's one thing. Now, there's something else in Romans 8. I, I love Romans 8. Who loves, who knows what's in Romans 8? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ, okay? Now, you can use many verses here, but this, this, this key verse says, In all things, God works for the good of those who love Him and who are called according to His purpose. Now, that's interesting because there are those words, all things. Not some things, not a few things, not special things, but in all things. Have you ever thought of, have you ever taken the circumstances of your life and thought about that? And you said, what I'm going through, I don't understand. I don't like it. It's been hurtful. It's been painful. And, and I don't know what to do with it. But I'm going to embrace the truth that in this situation of my life, in this circumstance of my life, in this and in every circumstance of my life. Do you hear this? That God works for good, for your good, if you love Him and if you are called according to His purpose. 